لبيك يا تواب يا فتاح يا عليم لبيك يا يا رزاق يا كريم Muslims around the globe migrate to the holy city of Mecca to perform the obligation of the pilgrimage every year and in response to the call of Islam approximately Three million Muslims gather in Mecca from different parts of the world with diverse ethnicities and speaking a variety of languages with the unified goal of obeying Allah. It is quite a sight to behold, a gathering of Muslims in a place of such rich history, performing the integrals of Hajj in rhythmic fashion. One after the other, black and white, men and women, young and old, strong and weak, they fulfill this obligation and absolve themselves of their sins. In the hadith narrated by al Bukhari and Muslim, the Prophet وسلم, said what means performing Umrah erases the sins done after the previous Umrah, and the reward of the acceptable Hajj is paradise. Those who do not know Mecca's rich history are still drawn to the magnetism of the Kaaba, a 43 by 43 foot structure which was originally built by the first human and prophet Adam. Of course, Muslims who know its history have a connection to the Kaaba, as they face its direction in prayer five times a day. Like all acts of obedience, Hajj has integrals, conditions, requisites, and prohibitions. As the month of Dhul Hijjah approaches, Muslims in their home countries are preparing for this unforgettable journey. Their destination is one, Mecca. However, they reach it in different ways. The pilgrim has to make their intention before crossing certain boundaries revealed to Prophet Muhammad which are signified by landmarks. Pilgrims stop at these locations, wash, wear the clothes of ihram, make their intention, and begin the acts of hajj. On the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah, which is the day of Arafah and the best day of the year, every pilgrim has to be present in the area of Arafah between Dhuhr and dawn of the following Eid day. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said what means, the one who misses being at Arafah during the designated time misses Hajj. In imitating Prophet Muhammad in his farewell Hajj, the pilgrim fills their day performing good deeds, repenting and making supplication to Allah. the Muslims depart from Arafah and head back to Mecca, passing by different cities from which they need to gather pebbles. They pass by Muzdalifa and then Mina, some spending the night there while others continue to Mecca. In Mecca, the pilgrims perform the integral of Tawaf, which is going around the Kaaba seven times with one's left shoulder towards the Kaaba. Tawaf is similar to prayer in all of its conditions, including purification and proper covering. 
The only exception is that talking does not invalidate it. Another interval is to walk between the location of a Safa and Al Marwa seven times, starting with Safa and ending with Marwa. A Safa and Al Marwa are situated on two different mountains. The pilgrim walks in the same fashion as Lady Hajar, the mother of Ismail, walked while seeking water. It is within these boundaries that Zemzem water sprang out. Cutting the hair by shaving or trimming is another interval of Hajj. It is recommended for the pilgrim to shave or trim the hair during the day of Eid. Women cut their hairs but are not allowed to shave their heads. On the day of the Adha feast, which is on the 10th of Dhul Hijjah, pilgrims throw seven pebbles in Jamratul Aqaba. Jamratul Aqaba is one of three locations in which the devil appeared to Prophet Ibrahim. Prophet Ibrahim threw pebbles at this devil and Muslims nowadays imitate him in this action during Hajj. In the days of Tashriq, which follow the day of Eid, pilgrims throw pebbles at the three stations of Jamra, thus concluding the actions of Hajj. One of the recommended deeds is to go to al Madina to visit the grave of the Prophet, peace be upon him. There, they can make supplication to Allah Ta'ala seeking the blessings from Him by that holy place and by the Prophet This is in following the habits of the Prophet who visited the graves of the Muslims and in following the example of the companions and the scholars who visited the grave of Prophet Muhammad to seek the blessings. Prophet Muhammad said in a hadith that means the one who visits my grave has earned my intercession. They can also visit the graveyard named Al Baqir next to the Prophet's mosque, where many of the companions are buried. This voyage to fulfill the obligation of Hajj is an experience of a lifetime. The history of the area, the blessed ones who visited it, and the actions which we perform all add to the joy of the pilgrim as he completes his journey. We ask Allah to enable us to perform the pilgrimage and to visit the grave of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Oh, oh, oh.